Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? Time for another tutorial from Pinnacle Studio Pro. Alright people, y'all been asking for this, so I'm giving it to you. The picture in picture tutorial in Pinnacle Studio 16 Ultimate. Let's get into it. Alright, first thing you need to know, picture in picture is basically where you got uh, one clip showing and then you got another clip showing uh, on top of it. Now, with this you could use as many uh, picture and picture clips as you want. You can put four in a video. You can put five. You can put ten. You can put as many as you want to. You just got to size everything up to the correct size. So I might as well go ahead and get started with this. First thing I want to do is pull my first video clip down into the timeline track. And I want to pull it down. I'm going to pull it into track two. Next thing you want to do is you want to take the clip that you want to show above it and you want to pull it into a timeline track above the other video clip. Now, depending on how you want it to show, if I wanted the front end of this video to show, then I would just line up the front and I would trim it down to this position. And now I just have the front end of it and they're matching in size. Now, if I wanted the back end to show, then I would have to basically go ahead and trim it back out or bring it back out to the original size. You can pull this up here to a position where it's kind of close to the edge and then I could trim this all the way up to this section if I find out that it doesn't match I can hit jump ahead to the next uh we'll jump forward and if I hit it all the way to the end and if I click it back the other way and if I got two clicks then I know I'm not lined up but since it was only one click to get back watch this just one click I know I'm lined up perfectly, so I'm good to go. And now you'll see just the end of the clip, whereas before it was just the beginning of the clip. Next thing I need to do is make it so that I can see both of these videos, because right now, all I can see is the track that's on top. All right, and that's why you put it on top to make sure that you can see it over the bottom one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on the clip that's on top. I'm gonna go to Open Effects Editor. And I'm going to go to 2D, 3D. Once I click on 2D, 3D, I'm going to go all the way over to the end until I see this little arrow. And I'm going to click this little arrow to make more of the effects show up. And I want the one called Studio PIP. So I'm going to click on Studio PIP. Now right now, all I see is the clip that's going to be in the little picture in picture. But I want to see everything because I want to know where exactly this little video is so in order to do that i come down to i come here to the solo button if i click on this little arrow next to solo i get some choices here i'm going to click on show media and tracks below now i can see both of them and i know what the heck i'm doing i know where the heck the video will be i'm not blind as a bat anymore i can see what's going on so now we got some options here so we got some presets here so we got no preset, just makes it right back like it was. We got default, place it in the upper right corner. And we got all the other ones. We can go to the left, we can go to the bottom center, or bottom left, I'm sorry, or bottom right. We can go centered, and we can go centered with border. All right, so I'm gonna go with the default. So that fits perfectly where she's at right here. Now keep in mind, if you don't like any of these positions, where these defaults are at, you can just go to position and you can move this bad boy wherever the heck you want to by using your sliders or clicking in until it becomes blue and typing in the parameters of where you want it to go. So I'm gonna go back to default. Also size. We can make this as big as we want, as wide as we want. What we got to do is use our imagination, use our sliders here, change these positions. Another thing we can do is we can crop this bad boy. If there was something in there we didn't like, want to chop his head off, 
see your heads going. Just use your sliders, like I said. You can crop out each one of these positions. However you want, you can make curved corners if you want to. Make it look really nasty. Felt that McNasty with the felt that McNasty curved corners. So if you like curved corners, there you go, right there. Curved corners for you. All right. So when you got your video settings, you can make your video transparent. So you can see the background through it if you want to. All right. And then you got your borders. So you can change the border width. And the height. I'm going to use 10 on mine. And if there was a, if I didn't use rounded corners, then it would be just new, you know, regular corners, really sharp. But right now I got rounded corners, so the borders is rounded as well. Then you can change the softness of the border. And of course you can make the border just transparent if you want to. And you can double click on this and you can change the color of the border if you wish. Or you can click on the eye drop tool and I can make it the color of her collar. Color this chair back here. I'll do the chair. And then you got shadow. So if you want to see a shadow, uh, if there's like a shadow that she's casting, you probably want a shadow for this tool to make it look more realistic. So if you change your parameters on here. And if the shadow was coming, you know, casting this way, then it's good to put the shadow that way. If the cat if the shadow was casted the other way, then you wanna, you know, change it to that. Or maybe to that. You wanna make your uh shadow match whatever the real shadow was casting on the video. And of course you can make your shadow uh more transparent if you want to, if it's not a, a really dark shadow. And you can change the softness of it as well. Make it look more realistic. Hold righty then. I don't like these shadows on here, so I'm taking them out. All right, good to go. Now, we got all our settings on here. We got everything set up the way we want to. Of course, like I said before, you can move it. If you wanted to put more on here, let's say you wanted to have like three or four, you could do it pretty easily. Let's just take a look at it real quick. I'm click OK to save everything that I got done. All right, let's say I wanted to put another one on here. Well, a lot of people have been asking me, how do you get another track on? I only have four tracks. Well, you got to open up more tracks. So as long as I'm doing this, I might as well show you how to open up more tracks as well. So I'm going to right click over here. I'm going to left click it first. And then I'm going to right click in this area where it says AV track. And now I'm going to go to insert new track above. You can make the track above it, below it, wherever you want to. Now, you can keep doing that as many times as you want, which means... You can put as many videos in the PIP as you want to. I could just keep right clicking here and search track above. Now right click, search track above. I could just do that until I got as many. It's unlimited. I could do as many tracks as I want to. I don't want all these tracks, so I'm going to delete them. And I'm just going to show you. Let's just put one more PIP in here. And I'll bring this one down. And this time I'll have the beginning. Of the video so I'm gonna jump forward to the next position and I'm going to split this here and I'm going to click on this to activate it and I'm gonna click my little trash can to get rid of this little edge all right good with, good to go right click on here again open effects editor go to 2d 3d again Hover over here till I get my arrow. Click on the arrow. Studio PIP. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to go to solo button. I'm going to show media and tracks below. Now guess what? Because this is on top of everything. You got this little border showing here. Well, that's because the other video is there underneath it. So I'm going to move this down to bottom right corner. And... 
see here. Matter of fact, I'm going to do something here. I'm going to make the vertical negative uh, 25. Kind of move that down a little bit. So the only other thing I want to do right now is I want to change the uh, corner curve on here. And we're going to do the border. All right, and we're good to go. Could actually move this one up a little bit, which I probably will do. Let's go ahead and click on OK to save this one. I'll go back down to this one. I'm going to right click on it. Open effects editor. And for the position, I'm just going to change the vertical to 25. This moves it up a little bit. And now you can see everything's good to go. And when I play this back, you see the wonderful picture and picture going on that's it picture and picture tutorial just for you and pinnacle studio 16 ultimate you guys know the routine all right i need you to do this for me real quick one time the button the thumb that button, yeah, you see it at the bottom. The one that's pointed in the upward direction. Click it, like it, live it, love it, hug it. Leave me your comments. If you need help, I'll get back to you. I'll give you the help you need. If I can't help you, I'll point you in the right direction. And last, but definitely not least, don't you ever forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.